Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Thursday, April the 26th. I'm Clay Emo, at Canuck Clay on Twitter, and I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. The first round of the NHL playoffs is now in the books, with Boston's 7-4 victory over Toronto last night. And now we look forward to the four conference semifinal matchups. And for those of you that entered my confidence pool, I'll be sending out an update to the standings sometime tonight. But what us Canucks fans are excited about, what we are looking forward to, what we are debating about... And waiting with breathless anticipation is this Saturday's NHL Draft Lottery. Is it time to reverse the curse, so to speak? Although I don't believe in curses. I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, we learned some, new, some details about how it's going to go. And it's going to be a little more suspenseful than usual. Picks 15 through 4. So the first 12 picks, 15 through 4. That order will be announced at 4.30 p.m. Starting at 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, so Vancouver time, right before the San Jose Sharks Vegas Golden Knights game. However, you have to wait another two hours because picks three, two, and one, the winners of the lottery, they will be announced during the second intermission of that Sharks Knights game. So likely anywhere between 6 30, 6 40 p.m. and 7 p.m. standard time. So it's made for TV. It's a way to draw out, you know, some suspense, obviously, get people excited. And who knows if we'll know by 4 30 or 5 whether or not the Canucks have won one of the first, uh, the top three lottery spots, and then we get to have fun on Twitter and talk to each other for a couple hours before they actually announce it. So once again, picks 15 through four, announced between 4.30 and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time before the Sharks Knights game, and then the winners of the lottery, picks three, two, and one, will be announced during the second intermission of that game, likely somewhere between 6.30 and 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, now we've got those details out of the way. I want to remind you uh, very quickly about the history of the draft lottery for those of you who are interested or, or might need this refresher. It came in the NHL in 1995 and at that time uh, for the first 20 years or so you could only move up a maximum of four spots and there's only one lottery winner. So if you follow the math only um, only the teams that finished or the first, second, third, fourth or fifth worst. So the bottom five teams they could, those were the only five teams that had a chance of winning number one. And that's because, of course, you could only move up four spots. So if the maximum you could move up was four spots, then the, the most that you could uh, drop would only be one spot because only one team would be moving in the lottery. And that's the way it was. Uh, only one team would be winning the lottery. So that's the way it was for, the, for about uh, 18 years or so. Then in 2013, they switched it very, very, um, very minorly. Well, no, it's a major switch where all of the non-playoff teams had a chance to win the lottery. So it, um, it wasn't a, you can, there wasn't a maximum of four spots that you could move. You could be the, you know, the, wor the best place finisher of the non-lottery, the non-playoff teams, that makes sense. Basically, whatever, 15th or 16th last, and you could still win the lottery. And that was only, that was uh, instituted in 2013 after 18 years of only being able to move up four spots. So now anyone could win the draft lottery. And then a further change was made in 2016 where now they were making uh, picks for three spots, the top three spots. Basically, three separate lottery draws, um, three winners of the lottery. And as we know, that's when the Canucks kind of problem started in 14 they they drafted for Tannen at six overall then they had that strong 14 year where they made it to the playoffs actually Willie D's first year and then they, that's where they picked 23rd overall way down at the bottom they got Brock Besser what a what a wonderful pick and then they in 2016 as they changed to three lottery winners the Canucks actually have dropped in 2016 they dropped from third overall in third chances for third lottery pick and they dropped two spots to fifth and that's when they picked Ole Ulevi. And then last year, they were actually second overall. They had the second best chance of winning, and they dropped to fifth, three spots. And that seems, hopefully, it seems like that one's going to work out, actually, with Elias Pedersen. So in the last two years, since the Canucks have, since the NHL has moved to three lottery winners, the Canucks have dropped in 2016 from third to fifth, two spots. And in 2017, they dropped three spots from second to fifth. So now what happens in 2018? We know that Trevor Linden is not going. He was the one who went for the last two years, despite some online clamoring for Finn to go. Jim Benning, our GM, will indeed go properly. He'll re represent the Canucks. Not the most, you know, gregar gregarious or enthusiastic guy on camera, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you look or act on camera. All we want is a lottery win. And then, like, so again, like I said, Jim Benning will be there, not Linden, and maybe it's a chance to reverse our fortunes. Now... There's a lot of talk about are the Canucks cursed? Is it bad luck? Is it superstition? 
And on the flip side, the more positive side, I've kind of joked about this on Twitter for the last couple of days. Uh, many of you know I'm a very I'm a devout and practicing Catholic. I work for the Catholic Archdiocese full time. I work in youth and young adult ministry, so that's my job. That's my professional life, and that's my obviously my spiritual life and my personal life. But I kind of made a joke on on Twitter a couple of days ago, saying, although I'm a very spiritual person, I believe in the power of prayer. I've actually never prayed for the Canucks to win the draft lottery. I've never prayed for the Canucks to win a game or Stanley Cup, uh, because I. I you know, we can get into this in another video, but I think God has more important things to worry about than things like that. But we can pray, and, and someone even asked me, are you serious? You didn't even pray for the Canucks to win the Stanley Cup in Game 7 in 2011? I said, yeah. I, I, I responded that I did not pray for that to happen. I do pray, much like I do for many things, for God's will to be done. And who knows? We don't know what God's will is. But I must say, I was pretty tempted. I have been pretty tempted in the last couple of days to indeed pray for a Canucks lottery win. I don't think I will, um, just because it kind of goes against what I've just been talking about for the last minute. But I, I will certainly um, pray that God's will be done. And if God's will happens to be to grant the Canucks the first overall pick, I'm certainly not going to complain. And speaking of church, to wrap this up, I actually won't be able to watch the draft lottery because I'll be at my church from 4 o'clock on this Saturday for a big event um, at our church with, with the young people there. So I'm actually going to be at the church from 4 to 6.30. And at 6.30, I have to get in my car for a roller hockey game. So... Uh, regardless, if it's the Canucks picking the, the 15 through 4, I won't be able to hear that announcement because I'll, I'll be at church. And then if the Canucks win you know, one of the first three spots, I won't be able to hear that announcement, or at least I'll be able to hear it um, because I'll be in my car. Um, I can hear it on the radio on the way to my roller hockey game. So I wish I, I was planning to live stream it on YouTube, but because of the timing, it's not going to work out. However, I'm sure I'll react with a video either that night or cer certainly on Sunday with you know my reactions to where the Canucks finish off. So um, all to say... Canucks fans, my fellow YouTubers, and, and my people that I follow and follow me on Twitter, I trust that you will keep me up to date in that three-hour time span between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. I expect to walk out of Mass on Saturday and see all these, uh, you know, all these notifications and tweets on my phone, which I will catch up on, and hopefully I'm walking out of Mass to some good news saying, hey, the Canucks have won one of the three spots, and we'll be finding out in a short time which one of those three spots there are. Okay, thanks for watching. And that wasn't overly deep, but it was a little more spiritual than usual. But all, all to say is I don't believe in curses. I don't believe in superstition. I don't believe in, luck, believe in luck. I do believe in the power of prayer. And I will be praying that God's will be done. And if God's will is that the Canucks win one of the three lottery uh, spots, especially first overall, I'm certainly not going to complain. I'm certainly not going to doubt the power of prayer. All right, Canucks fans, would love to hear what you think. Read and re I'd love for you to comment on this video. I will be happy to read, react, and reply to it. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And lastly, give this video a like if you know if you like uh, the kind of videos that I'm doing. Okay, so I will check in with you likely Saturday or Sunday, depending on how the weekend's going. But certainly uh, excited for what may come on Saturday night with the NHL Draft Lottery. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks, go.